Welcome back to another episode of Multi Block Madness, where today I'm trying to find some Wither Skeletons. And I think I might be able to make this easier by changing my mini map to show mob heads. So, mob display, small icons. There we go. Now you can see that there are some Wither Skeletons over in this direction. Well, over in this direction. And I've got my trial key. We're just going to get a... Uh, oh yes. Nice. Sweet. And now we can use this to get uh, Wither Skeleton Matter from a trial. And that will enable us to get uh, Wither Skulls pretty easy. Because uh, Wither Skeleton Matter, which we'll, we'll get from completing a trial... That gives us 18 with the skeleton skulls. And I think we need to kill four withers. For um take that for upgrading our that's a terrible capacitor. Upgrading our blood magic holds that's a day. And we've got this necrotic bone. Does this mean we can get life leech on here? Life steal 10%. Nice. We might have other necrotic bones, right? Necrotic. Here we do. Because lifestyle is quite good. Not enough modifiers. Okay, 20% lifestyle. Pretty nice. Um, plus, I also have managed to get. Uh, been a while since I've actually looked looked in here uh, while recording, but we've come along. We've grabbed all this extra armor, which is why our armor bar is purple. We've come up and started getting some extra damage, because I just wanted a bit more melee damage. And then we've come across here to lifesteal. So 3% of damage dealt, Gander's life, so we get 6%. I actually don't know how it's all going to stack together. And then I'm coming up to this vampirism, which is going to give us more hearts as well. Should be quite good. Yeah, we're level 63, so we've still got like 30, 27 levels left to go somewhere. We should probably start thinking about this creative flight thing as well. Um, people did mention that the mantle isn't going to have much armor. But I think because of our astral armor bonuses, we probably won't notice it too much. Like, even if I take off my armor. Well, I don't know. I can't tell. Our armor went from green bar to, well, purple bar to green bar. Is that lots? That could be lots. This should be pretty cool. Regen party, we're going to get three pristine wither skeleton matter. More than we need. And wait, do we level up our... We level up our model doing this. Yeah, since it's basic, it's not really going to be... too difficult. Done. And I think I still have my loot fabricator set up. We want... With the skull and skulls. Yeah, a little bit overpowered, you might say. Um, and now we just need to figure out... Where do we want to fight the wither? Soul sand. Okay, so I put torches here, but they're probably going to get uh, destroyed almost immediately. But let's at least get a wither blank data model for a start. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be nice. And I don't know if these guys have been buffed or not. It looks a little different, maybe? This should be fine. Ah. Easy. Killed an undead boss. Yes. Got a nether star and we'll use that to make the wither data model. Um, and we got some supremium, which is nice. And then we're going to be able to use this to eventually get pristine wither matter. Um, if we started running our simulation chamber. Which we could almost make. Then wither matter can be used ooh, to get supremium. That seems uh, easy. Right, but, uh, time to grind. 
some more with us. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, we got 13 Nether Stars, 26 the premium. Cool. And then hopefully, I think this will be enough. I think we just need 22 aluminium blend. And then I'd say, wait, can we do it in these smelters? They tend to be faster. Nope, we cannot. Lum uh, hardened glass and aluminium blend. Makes the hardened aluminium glass. And I think this is all we need. Yeah. I think so. We can then pop over to. Oops, no, I wanted that. Uh, over to Starlight. And we should be able to. We got a little bit of crafting. Probably not enough for making this. Yeah, it's going to need to be night time. And I don't think we need a thing, a constellation. And then we'll just put this, this empowered palace uh, on these things. Should be good. Should be good. You know what I just realized you can do? You could time in a bottle them to give you more starlight. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then can we time in a bottle this to... Ooh. I wonder if she looked in here while it's been crafting. Oh, it's asking for... Yes, of course. I did it. I put the thing. You want these things? Oh dear, not that. Did I make a mistake? Maybe it was because we time and a bottled stuff we shouldn't have. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, so maybe don't time to bottle these things, or this thing, but time to bottling these seems pretty good, because I think we would have been a little bit short of Starlight. And hey, a beacon. Awesome. And yeah, let's see what happens to our Starlight now that these aren't time to bottled. No, we do have enough. Cool. Let me just do this thing. And then we just need to put our beacons on the corners. And I don't know about having the diamond blocks there, but <laughs> we'll see how it looks. I mean, it might kind of match the beacons. Yeah. And this should be our next year of altar. Now, I think, yeah, we don't actually need as many runes as we've got, but it does kind of fill it in. And our last beacon. Nice. That's that. So this should be a tier... A tier 5. If you don't know how we tell what tier it is. Um, but if we get our book... The next tier is missing a solid block at 157. I think that's... Yeah, 66 is down here. I think it's uh that's the the next next tier. So the last thing we need to do is make an ethereal slate and oh ah here we go. It's just a demonic slate and thirty thousand. Which hey we've got that. Um, I wonder if we can get away with just one. Um, now he only holds ten thousand because I didn't make capacity runes. Blood magic, which maybe I should be making. I feel like it was made with this, right? We're in a capacity. Yeah, we could we could totally we could totally make some of them. So I probably should. Five of them? No, we might as well get more. Uh so he's thirty thousand, but he was thirty thousand once I'd put these here. So these didn't seem to do anything. Which is a shame. Um, I don't want to go down here. Because I think we might need to upgrade these. But I might have made way too many. So this is still 10,000. You should pick up these ones. 20,000. Ah, oh, 
Okay, I take that back. These were totally still doing something. Okay, never mind. Cool. So there's one ethereal slate. Might as well get another one. And yeah, maybe we're starting to get to the point where I'd want to automate this. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Unless we actually need blocks of slates for stuff, which doesn't super look like it. Maybe it's okay. Unless these are also used for stuff. I mean, it's obviously used... Oh, the Elven Gateway Core. I think that's actually the next thing. Oh, I think this is actually the next thing. Cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the next quest, right? Elven Portal. Nice. And then once we do that, we can actually get Glitch Armor. Which is going to be really cool. Nature Pylons. Mana Pylon. It's not too bad. Um, a bit of all of this stuff. Kronos, where do we get that from? A time machine. We're not making time machines. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So I think we actually only need two, because we need this Elven Gateway. Um, it looks like there's only that one recipe, so this might be the only ones we need, unless we're going to do like all of this stuff, which I guess we do at some point. But not now, not now. So I guess I'll assemble the bits and pieces for this. We're going to need to go harvest some more leaves for our mana generation. I probably should have automated the refilling of this thing, but I haven't. I think this is all the glimmer wood we need. I'll grab another one. Because I know we need two for crafting the core, and then I think we need three around the portal. So this should be enough. And then it's just a matter of making sure we've got the stuff. Um, because how dangerous instability. Maybe I'll make some more candles and take out that sugar cane. But yeah, I think maybe some more candles down here would be good. So I don't think... I don't think our stability is great. 1.5. 0.5. I swear that was more previously. Actually, we got Wither Skulls. These are an infusion stabilizer. I reckon they look kind of cool. And just getting the essence that we need uh, for crafting the gateway core and, um, oops, <laughs> yeah, a little bit close to the, the altar, but I mean, I doubt it's going to get big enough to cause big problems. We're just going to have to keep an eye on it um, closing. We do have a causality collapser, but I think there's still, there's still enough flux in the area that another one would probably just open straight away. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that guy and see what he does. Uh, I'm just waiting on this to finish. Permitatio is the next one we need, and I don't think I have a jar for it. So you'll hopefully find that jar you have. Cool. Oh dear, oh, what's what's happening? What is that? What is that? Oh dear. Oh, that hurts. I've never struck that before. <laughs> I mean, I can only assume it's because we've got too much flux in the area. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I can only assume that's due to the flux. That was cool. Nice. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> oh yes, getting purple dye to make the warp stone, and that should be everything we need to hopefully craft this. Got some more candles down here. I'm hoping that's going to be enough stability. Hoping. Hoping that's going to be enough stability.
and there should be enough of these things. We're going to have problems, potentially, if we don't have enough stability. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, easy. Easy. We can only lose up to two stability, but we've got... We're gaining 2.9. So it should be no trouble making this. Um, we'll probably be making some more flux in the area. Which is obviously not ideal with this guy. But he is kind of cool. Very cool. I think I had enough of this stuff. Pretty sure we got some more over here if we didn't. I may have time and bottled them. <laughs> and it works really good as long as you've got the stuff. I think it would be a horrible mistake to time and bottle it when you didn't have enough of the resources. Uh, but hey, we've got our Alvin Gateway Core and our Living Wood. I mean, I guess this is going to go over here. Well, so I did do it. Oh my gosh, you've destroyed all those leaves already? These were full. Those were full of leaves. Um, but we should be gaining some mana. Which is cool. Yep, yep, that's noisy. Now, the Elven Gateway Core. We kind of want the Britannia book, and actually that should be part of this book. I think I remember how it goes. But always good to check. Da, da, da. There we go. Yeah, so we did need the three. Cool. And I guess for now you're going to go here. We're going to have to probably point mana stuff. And glimmering living wood. And this should be the portal. Oh my gosh, those are noisy. Uh, but we are obviously missing... Probably going to want another couple of mana pools and also the mana pylons. These things. Ah, oh, which are actually... Wait, no, don't we need the... Oh, we do need nature of pylons. Sweet. So we should almost just be able to craft two of them. And then to make them natura pylons, it's infusion crafting, some more terra steel, and more glimmering, glimmering living wood. Alright, not too bad, but we should have enough mana for this. I mean, I don't know what I'm basing that on, just the fact that this has been running for a while. I mean, yeah, it looks like there's plenty of mana there. And then once this is crafted... I just need to go get some more Glimmering Living Wood. And ah, a bunch more of the stuff. Alright, that's going to take a little bit. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> I also have Flux Phage 3 at the moment, so we might wait for that to dissipate. I can't remember what that affects. I think it's like you're crafting stuff. Maybe recipes cost more? Because normally Thorncraft gives you like... Like that V discount. I think it stops the discount working, or maybe... I don't know. If it affects this, we probably don't want to do it. But this should be everything for one, and I should have enough of this Essentia to craft two lots of these. So, uh... 20 seconds left. Yep, this guy's... <laughs> he's pretty big. Now, we do have a Causality Collapser left... Causality Collapser, and do we use this for anything else? I don't think we do, so we might use it on this guy. Um, the issue is if there's too much flux, uh, another rift's just going to spawn straight away, but... Oh, we just got Weakness and Taint Poison. Hey, we got some more Void Seeds. Which is nice. And we can make um, Void Siphons for siphoning those rifts. And just constantly getting Void Seeds. So we, we might look at doing that. Cool, so Flux Phage is gone. I think we try and craft this. 
And yeah, this should be all good. But uh, a little bit slow. And hopefully the flux in the area is okay. Still a little high for my liking. Like we still risk another void thing spawning, but maybe it'll be fine. And then we got another. Oh, that did the quest. We could do the TNT mana thing. And yeah, maybe we look at doing that. More rune crafting. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. And then we pop over here. We're going to want a couple of mana pools. Oh, you can't craft this in the 3D crafter. Well, I guess I mean I have to make... Oh, didn't I have a capsule? I might have a capsule. Oh, we don't even have the 3D crafter set up anymore. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Actually, no, we should be able to craft it inside. Like, this is still set up, so we can craft it in there. Just have to break the machine. We'll just, we'll just pop in down here. Check this. Oh, this isn't a big enough. All right. Um, yeah. So to break this machine. I could craft some more of these, of course. But now, we could do this. We could do this. Wait, right. Wait, that's the... Oh, I made it too low. <laughs> Alright, well that's an easy fix. Do that. Do that. Cool. Um, I'm not assembling that by hand. Actually, we've got that capsule that takes the stuff out of your inventory. So, mana pull this guy. Uses. This one doesn't contain the components. What is that? There we go, and you go there, you go there, nice. And then we'll set this up like I've done before. A couple of them. A couple of these, and then we actually want to point. Point these at the mana pool. Um, can we get like this one? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting some mana. I can't remember how we activate this. Oh, I right click the core with the wand of the forest. Hey, it's activated. Ah, we didn't have enough mana. <laughs> Actually, we should be able to... Put this in here. Yeah, and drain some mana into this. Now you go. Ah, oh, there's just not enough mana in that pool. And then we need to use these guys. Yeah, get them to charge this. So you've got some mana. You've got some mana. Now you go. That's better. And then I think it uses like a little bit of mana and now our... Oh, we've lost our movement speed. That's not good. But cool, that's done. Um, we actually may as well just... point these at here and we'll just transfer the stuff manually. Yeah, I think that'll be... Because then we don't have to come around and mess with it too much. I'll just keep an eye on this. But, awesome. Portal to Alfheim open. Um, we then want to make mana dust. Which mana infused metal? Is there something... We need here that we have to make... Terra Steel. We've got a bit of Supremium now. Ooh, what we don't have is super. Oh, 
Oof. I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ouch. That'll be a bit of crafting. But all right. Portal to Alfheim opened. Creative Flight is actually really close now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make the astral sorcery thing that we did. Uh, the 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 shawl cloak mantle the mantle the mantle of the stars for giving creative flight because we can now make glitch armor which gives creative flight and maybe and has more defense i don't know if it's more than like our current armor plus a mantle hmm. we'll figure it out all right see you guys in the next one